All right. So my mom is a pretty busy and active retired lady. So the rest of this episode is just going to be me. I decided what I was going to do is to build her a safe space at Spawn. It was pretty stressful for her to go back there and not have a bed or any shelter. So that's our goal. I made a chest donkey and it is filled with all the stuff I need for the build. Hello, donkey. So off camera, I went back to the villages and I got all the stuff we left. So I've got all of our resources here at base now. Let's go ahead and get on the donkey and ride back to spawn. I added some stairs to make everything a little bit easier for getting around while we we're getting settled. And I have an idea of making a railroad that goes between spawn and the base. But first we're going to need a lot of iron. Oh man, check out that waterfall we fell down. That's pretty fun. Oh, and um, over there is the fourth village. I'm not kidding. There's a fourth village. So here we are back close to Spawn. Spawn is just over that ravine and we're going to go ahead and tie up Donkey and build a rough bridge over the ravine. This is going to be sort of an outline for the railroad. The dirt bridge will be pretty simple and I'm pretty sure by the time we're all done building it over here it's going to be a grass bridge. Uh, so it goes. Let's go ahead and make it a double bridge so it's easy for Donkey. All done with the bridge. So let's grab the bed and we'll grab donkey and we'll head over to spawn to build the house. Okay, got the lead. Oh my gosh, where's donkey? Oh, donkey, come back. Oh, donkey. Oh, please don't fall in the pit, donkey. Okay, got the lead. Got the donkey. Oh. Okay, heading back up my insanely ugly dirt bridge. Here we go. And here we are back at spawn. I've already brought a few loads over here and made it a kind of safe. We'll secure donkey and head to bed to clear the rain. Oh, but look at the creeper holes. Yeah, this was a disaster for mom. Oh, here's another creeper hole. Oh my gosh, there's another one over there. Oh, I fell into the creeper hole. Do, 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 do. Oh, wow, that's ugly. It's the next day and the plan is to terraform. We're going to smooth the top of this hill and put a house with a wraparound deck. Since we're going to be here for a while doing all the terraforming, we're going to set up a funnel system with a furnace. We're going to make two funnels and the idea with the two funnels is that you can put different resources into the funnels and they'll flow through the furnace all getting smelted. We brought a bunch of iron ore and a bucket of lava. The lava can cook 100 units, but I only have 43 iron, so I went to add more than just iron to the system. One funnel goes under the furnace, and then you squat to place the other one on top of the furnace. In goes the iron, in goes the lava bucket, and then into the hopper, I can put all the cobblestone. When the iron is done smelting, it drops into the funnel below and the cobblestone will drop into the furnace and then into the funnel. It's a pretty cool system, but it's really useful if you're in a space for a bit and need to cook up a lot of stuff. All right, well, I'm gonna keep using the campfire for the raw food because the fire never stops burning. It doesn't get used up. I'm also gonna fill in these creeper holes that we made during our exciting evening. Oh, big and fill these in real quick and i'm gonna light up the area it's safe and i'm gonna kill the cow instead of planting the wheat harvesting the wheat and breeding the cows to collect leather i just kill them when i see them and then i throw the steak on the campfire to cook when i was in the villages they had all the white terracotta and I thought this would be brilliant, that I could dye it, and then I looked it up, and I learned that it is stuck as white. You cannot re-dye already dyed terracotta. So I just glazed some, and I'm gonna use the color palette of the white, yellow, dark blue, and light blue as the inspiration for my house. I'm using wool for the roof as a cool color pop that's easy to get early game. All right, well, let's start building. For my foundation, I'm going to go ahead and mark it out by tilling the grass without a water source. This makes temporary marks so that I can kind of work through the shapes and think about what I want, but it doesn't stay permanent. 
and I'm able to chain shapes as I go. And then when I'm ready, I just mark the corners with a torch and then I know where to put my foundation blocks. This is a pretty good shape. All right, so let's get going with the foundation blocks. I'm using diorite because I wanted to use a white block to go with the color palette of the glazed terracotta. And also there was a little spot of diorite around the corner that I mined. To make my build more interesting, I'm offsetting some squares. So I'm going to use this square for a tower. Ooh, did I just run out? Oh my gosh, are you kidding? I'm out? Oh, do I have any more in the chest? Is this seriously all I picked up? I always underestimate how much material you need for a build. Okay, we're going to go get more diorite. It was over here around the corner and... Oh, hello. I didn't know there was a taiga forest over here. Oh, that's great. We can get some spruce wood for other builds. But first we're gonna get some more diorite and this time I'm gonna get a ton. So just hold on a second. Getting lots of diorite. All right, all good. We got the diorite. We got our basic foundation built. I'm gonna do a two level high foundation and then I'm gonna make a wraparound porch or a partial wraparound porch because of the tower. I'm putting in a birch floor because I like the brightness of the birch, but I'm gonna throw a torch down here instead of filling it all in because I'm just in general low on resources, but, and I don't want a spider to spawn under my house. So for my wraparound porch, I'm gonna go ahead and make it too deep so I have some room for walking around as well as any railing I might like. I have to have two steps up, but I'll do those out of diorite and cool. And just to make it look supported, we're going to fill in with more wood down here. So it looks like it's actually sitting on something and not just floating. And same here, we're going to put diorite wall and another slab. Around this edge, we're going to go ahead and put our railing for safety and then a little stairway railing for for I guess safety again. And for no reason at all, we're gonna go ahead and put the doors in. There we go. And now they're out of my inventory, done. Okay, we're gonna frame the walls with oak log. So I'll start marking out the outline. I don't think I wanted this one here. No. No, I wanna, let's see, I wanted them down here. Okay, cause I was gonna have a little bit of an offset for one of these rooms. Okay, so then that goes here, off the corner, and then that makes me realize that these aren't correct. So we'll move them and offset them one more. Okay, so then we're gonna hop down and we're gonna put some upside down stairs to create an offset for this room. The whole first layer is going to be a ring of oak planks, just to give a nice darker line along the base. And then we can build the frame with our oak log and the walls out of birch. The windows are gonna to be too high and we are surrounded by a birch wall and then we'll top it off with more oak log. Cool. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put in the terracotta. I've got a plan for these. I've got exactly six and let's see what happens when we put it in place. It's always just a little tricky. Let's see, and nope, that's wrong. All right, we did this off camera. Otherwise getting the pattern right is too painful. But you're gonna see on this side, this is gonna be a bedroom and it took forever, but we got it in. I want to make the tower out of stone. I want to make the tower walls out of stone. So I pulled the stone out of the furnace after it had been all cooked up and we'll keep the borders made from oak log and then the stone walls to define the outside wall of the tower. Okay, almost done with the main structure, getting some windows and then we'll move on to the roof. This tower room is going to be a work room and that'll be like a dining area and this will be the bedroom. And to be honest, I want to go ahead and start decorating. Sorry, 
So I'm going to put away some of the building materials because I'm just going to stop and do some decorating before I have to do all the hopping around on the roof trying not to fall off. I need a little mental break. All right, we're going to have yellow beds to match with the color team. Boop, boop. Oh, well, that's too far away. Okay, we'll add a little planter. And it could also be storage, but mostly it's just a little bit of greenery. And then we'll go make our headboard, our, our bed look cool with a little headboard using trap doors. Yeah, that looks good. Now I'd like to put a table here and it's always a little bit tricky to get the stairs to be upside down. I'm going to use temporary slabs and put the stairs in and then I can break these and I'm thinking since we've already got the stairs in my inventory I think I'm going to go ahead and make a little seating area with a cafe table and stuff but I don't have the pressure plate for the table so that's just going to magically appear later. And we can put our planter plot on the table and my favorite flower, the lily of the valley. All right, and I put down a little carpet to make it nice and warm and cozy. And then this is gonna be the work area. So we're gonna have a chest and the crafting table and we'll put in a furnace. And then the chest, we put some beds and starter tools for people who joined the server or lost their bed. And let's get some light above the bed because it'd be kind of embarrassing if monsters spawned in here. And it's nighttime. So let's, I think it's time for a rest. And the interior is done and that's neat, but I'm outside and I decided I wanted planters on the second story. So I'm standing on this ridiculous dirt path, hoping dirt will grow while I'm building. We'll see if it grows or not before I'm done with the roof. Ooh, a wandering trader. Gotta go check them out. Okay, what are you selling? What are you selling? Ooh, melon seeds. Excellent. We'll buy those and then we'll kill your llamas because they're also a great source of leather for bookshelves. For the roof, I'm doing kind of a modified barn roof idea. So it'll be stairs and then a full block and then stairs again. So it sort of makes kind of a tall but rounded looking like a bit like a barn. I thought it'd be a neat roof idea. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that for a roof. And as I said, we're gonna fill this in with dark blue and the light blue of the color palette. We're gonna use yellow in the tower. So for this, we're just using blue. And we'll put some stairs in as a little architectural detail. There we go, yay! All right, we got the blue, the yellow, we got a tower. The grass is kind of growing up my steps. And it looks so nice on the interior. There's a few details need to be cleaned up it's there. And then we'll add some more log there and kind of cap that off. And then let's do a chandelier up in the tower. It'd be kind of cool if we had something like frog lights, but that's a little later game. We'll just use wool for today and a lantern. We can do little buttons on the side. It's kind of cool. And we'll go ahead and do our painting. So this is my honored ancestor painting. I love this one. And in here, let's see what we get. Uh, Angel. Angel's cool. Cool. Nope. Nope. Not the an honored ancestor. Not there. Not there. Uh, I don't want a second angel. Nope. Nope. Don't like the skull. Nope. No spider. Nope. Uh, guy feasting on flames. Fine. Put some carpet in and check it out real quick. Quick, oh, this looks cozy. Let's see my dirt. Ah, uh, didn't make it. Didn't make it. All right, I'm done. I'm done waiting. I'll just come back sometime later with some moss and I'll replace it. We gotta finish this up. 
Meanwhile, we got some bone meal to make the exterior a little bit nicer and friendlier. And we can add some bushes here and there around the exterior, do some more bone meal flowers and a few more bushes. I think that's pretty much gonna call it done. We will have a nice safe space for anybody who dies without a bed at night. What a nice color palette too. So very different than what I usually build with. We have a cozy house at spawn and a beautiful, beautiful new start to a let's play. This is the most beautiful valley I think I've ever found in Minecraft. It is going to be such a pleasure to build in here. So many exciting ideas. And I really hope you join me along the way. Bye.